Those new facts on the ground raise the stakes of today's meeting between Presidents Obama and Putin. Margaret Brennan is at the UN where both men address the General Assembly. Russia's expanding military intervention in Syria left President Obama little choice but to sit down with Vladimir Putin for the first time in more than two years. The biggest disagreement on Syria has been over the future of Bashar al-Assad. Today, the president softened his stance, telling the United Nations Assad no longer has to immediately leave power, yet he must still go. Mr. Obama offered to work with Russia and Iran, another unlikely partner, to negotiate a gradual transition. We must recognize that there cannot be, after so much bloodshed, so much carnage, a return to the pre-war status quo. But Putin has made it clear Assad must stay. And he called for a new alliance with Assad to fight ISIS. He said it would be, quote, an enormous mistake not to cooperate with the Assad regime, which he said was valiantly fighting terrorism face to face. But the U.S. blames Assad for allowing ISIS to thrive, which is why he cannot be an effective partner. And Scott, U.S. officials say today's meeting with Putin was about judging whether he truly wants to fight ISIS or whether he's simply trying to keep Assad in power. Margaret Brennan at the U.N. for us tonight. Margaret, thank you.